What is going on guys? We are out here in Dallas, Texas and get ready because as they say, everything is bigger in Texas. Let's go. For reasons I can't explain, Dallas has always been on my bucket list. And albeit it's not the most exotic place I've ever been, it still has that beautiful southern charm. We originally came for a concert, but we stayed for the food. And as the foodie you know and love, I did try to cram in as much as I could in the few days we were here. And of course, wanted to share it with you guys. Welcome to my Dallas food tour. Rounding up all the recommendations from you guys, the night we arrived, we had to hit up a place that I saw in almost every DM I got, which was Emporium Pies in Deep Ellum. Yes, a place that sells just pie. That's hilarious. No such thing unless you sell <laughs> so I can get all the flavor. It should be good. <laughs> it's super rich. The pie tastes like chocolate icing. Like the whole whole thing is like hmm. eating a bite of chocolate icing. Oh, whoa. The crust is very good. Not very salty, but still good. Give me another bite. Now, I know I did a whole cheat day on pumpkin spice, but it's been a while. It's been a minute since I've had me some pumpkin spice. This is like a pumpkin spice and ginger pie. Oh, good. <laughs> Wait, it's about to get better. That's a money bag. I can smell it, honestly. It smells so good. But... would be so impressed with pie, but those were the best slices of pie I've ever had in my life. So the next morning, you guys know I was on the hunt for something good. Something round, something with a hole in the center. Okay, yes, I was on the hunt for donuts. So we made it to Hypnotic Donuts. I hear that they have one of the most Instagrammed donuts, and I also hear that they have one of the best glazed donuts. So there's some high expectations in this place right now. They also are famous for a chicken biscuit, which is like nothing can be more Southern in Texas than that, so you know I gotta get me one of those. Hope it's good. I'll see you with some donuts. Donut time. <laughs> I've been in Canada for far too long. It feels so nice. There's not a cloud in the sky. Yeah. Dallas day. <laughs> All right. Savory first. I'm going to start with the chicken biscuit. This was called a Mary Beth, which has tater tots, a chicken patty that's deep fried, and like classic uh, southern gravy with pepper. So it's like a white gravy. It was bigger than I thought it was. Ooh, baby. Look at that. There's tater tots at the bottom. There's the breaded chicken there. And then gravy. Ooh, it's gonna be hot mess, I can just tell you now. Napkins on deck. 
Let's see what they got. Mmm, that's good chicken. A oh, hot though. Mmm, <laughs> that is some quality deep fried chicken. Mmm, the hash browns are super good. Mmm, that's so good. Biscuit's really good. Love that. First, I'm gonna try that humongous blueberry fritter. It makes the other ones look so tiny because it's enormous. This is literally the size of my face. Usually I rip these apart, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a bite. Mmm. The icing tastes like cotton candy. Straight cotton candy, but then I like blueberry cotton candy. And then you can see the fresh blueberries in there. That's delicious. Almost like a funnel cake because it tastes like cotton candy a little bit, but that's so good. Mmm. Dang. I love that. That's so good. I love fruity things, so that hit the spot. The reason I got just a plain old glazed donut, this was the best glazed donut in Dallas. <laughs> it better be good. Keep going learn. Hmm. It has nothing on a Krispy Kreme donut. Yeah. No chance. It tastes good. It's all right. I don't know if it would, I would say it's the best glazed donut I've ever had. I'm not knocking it. Now this, this is like the big daddy. It has a layer of peanut butter and then there's bacon, honey, and banana. If this is an art, then I don't know what is. I'm excited. Mmm. The sweet and salty mix of that is amazing. Wow. The peanut butter and banana just go so well together with the bacon, oh my goodness. Wow. Mm. That's so good. This is like amazing. Mm. If you love peanut butter, ooh, you'd love this. This place did not disappoint. Thought it was really good. Loved everything that I had. Dallas, what else you got? <laughs> And because I only had a few things from Hypnotic Donuts, sadly my sweet tooth was still buzzing. So I had to hit up Milk and Cream, a place known for their donut ice cream sandwiches, which was of course right up my alley. So I wanted something else after going to Hypnotic Donuts and I really, really wanted to try out this place. It wasn't too far away, so I went for it. And this place is called Milk and Cream, another highly recommended place. And I got the glazed donut sandwich with birthday cake ice cream. That's actually really good. It looks super oh good, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it's actually like one of my favorite things I've had in Dallas so far. That's crazy. That's so good. There's a lot of ice cream in there. Mm-hmm. It's like the best possible ice cream sandwich you could possibly ask for. <laughs> and I was not kidding. That was probably the best thing I had since I got there, which is crazy because I had some pretty good food since arriving. Dang. <laughs> It seems really basic and boring, but the glazed donut was absolutely amazing because they heated it up before putting on the delicious birthday cake ice cream. The combination was heavenly. And later that night, I had to hit up a place that sold Texas-sized pizza. And serious pizza did not disappoint. So I have literally wanted to say this since I got here. We are gonna find out if everything is bigger in Texas. Why do we have to say it? How will I feel it? If you believe in me, how will you let me in? If you are That's one piece of life. I could do some damage. I wonder how much I could eat of a whole piece of this. It actually looks bigger in real life. Let's see if I can get the, yeah, there you go. Without angling my face. Yeah. <laughs> Barbecue chicken pizza, my go-to whenever I go anywhere, and it looks delicious. I'm gonna take it, <laughs> take it like a regular slice. Huh? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh! That's hilarious. It's a whole pot. That's so good. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got this. They 
say it's Texas sized. So aside from the fact that the slice was Texas sized, AKA, I'd like to say Stephanie sized, it was super delicious. One of the best barbecue chicken pizzas I've ever had. Gotta get them angles. And Jeff was also nice enough to let me have some of his. I definitely liked mine better, but his was also bomb. Pizza was delicious, and now we want something sweet. Money shot. <laughs> Vanilla soft serve, chocolate fudge, brownie bits, whipped cream, chocolate sprinkles, sprinkles, and some banana. It's called the King Kong for good reason. <laughs> That's good. Jeff got cookie dough, edible cookie dough, sweet and salty. Here's what you're gonna think of that. What do you think of it? No, I'm don't, I'm actually, don't tell first. me. Go ahead and try mine. I like that. Yeah? There's a cookie dough. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's delicious. Yeah, it's pretty good. The next day, I still hadn't gotten my full donut fix. So I was on the hunt for some more donuts and found this gem called Urban Donuts in Uptown. Yeah. So I am actually out on the patio of our Airbnb, which is super nice, by the way. I wanted to bring them back home because there wasn't really anywhere to sit at the actual donut shop and they look beautiful. So what I have, this is called the Uptown Donut right here. This is filled with apple pie filling. This one is Nutella and Rice Krispies. This is like vanilla frosting with Fruity Pebbles. This is a s'mores donut, a PB and J and a vanilla something or other, but I'm hoping that this one's still filled, but they look beautiful. Oh my goodness, in it. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so believe it or not, I always lust after PB&J donuts that I see other people have on their cheat days or like some food videos. I've never personally had one, never personally had one myself, so that is what I am going to start with. It has raspberry jam and it has peanut butter frosting. Ooh, baby. Cheers. Cheers to the first donut of the day. This is delicious. This is exactly what I wanted out of a PB&J donut. I'm super impressed. The dough is really nice. It's not too bready or chewy. And the raspberry jam is delicious. And this is nice and peanut buttery, but not overpowering. Mmm. 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 We're gonna do s'mores. There's little teddy bears on there. The marshmallows torched. That is a quality crafted donut. I'm gonna try one of these out. Okay. Oh, it's not filled. Mmm. Yum. Because the marshmallows are like fire torch. It has that really quintessential over an open fire taste. It's really good. I'm actually not mad at the fact that it's not filled because I think that there would just be way too much going on. So I love that. That's that's super good. This one has an animal cookie, a vanilla sprinkled donut with strawberry icing in the center. It's really aesthetic though. So we'll see. Surprisingly, super good. I need to try to get some of this strawberry frosting in the bite. Mm. Mm. 
yum. This is like strawberry cake frosting. Delicious. This one has Nutella, a Hershey's Kiss in the center. It looks like just Rice Krispies. <laughs> like I'm in an airfield. Cheers. There's something about Nutella. Next is the Fruity Pebbles one. Looks like it just has vanilla icing on it. If you guys watched my cheat day I did in South Florida, then you might remember that I ate almost an entire box of Fruity Pebbles. You know how I feel about Fruity Pebbles. Like the cereal's not stale or anything. These are really, really good. Highly impressed. Mm. I love their dough. It's like the perfect amount of fluffy and doughy. I think I saved the best for last. It has some cream cheese frosting and apple pie filling. Okay, let's see if I can get all the way to the center. I'm gonna have this all over my face. Mmm, yum. Simple and delicious. I love them. Mmm. Mm hmm. I'm trying to think of which one was my favorite. I think this PB and J one is my favorite. Mm hmm. Wow. That's so good. My favorite, for sure. Almond donuts, I'm impressed. So good. I wanna save a few bites for Jeff, but that, that's the damage. Poor Jeff. So I did find both of these Oreo flavors at the grocery store here in Dallas. So I will be reviewing them on my food Instagram. So check out my food Instagram if you haven't already. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. I love it. So, yes. And last but not least, you guys didn't think I would go to Texas and not get barbecue, right? <laughs> so of every single place that was suggested by locals and on my Instagram, Pecan Lodge was by far the most recommended place to get barbecue. And honestly, I felt like I couldn't leave Dallas without trying it. It was definitely a good sign that it was a good place to eat because there was an hour long wait and the line extended outside and wrapped around the entire interior of the building. It was also a really dope spot. I had really good vibes inside and everyone, although had to wait a long time for their food, seemed really happy to do so because it was so worth it. Dallas was honestly a blast and satisfied every foodie itch I had. I absolutely love filming these food tours and I'm on the hunt for my next destination. Let me know in the comments below where you think I should go next. And like the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you in a video very soon. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time. <laughs>